Mr Speaker, let me be clear, we will take no lectures, no lectures from a party which has not had a mandate to govern in Scotland since 1955. Yeah. He went to his three Prime Ministers in the course of just a matter of months who crashed the economy, who sent mortgage rates soaring, who've taken energy support away from families most in need. We have a Prime Minister who's been fined by the polis not once, but twice, yep. who take donations from yep. Russian-backed yep. donors and who, of course, have stuffed the House of Lords with people like Baroness Moan. But, Mr Speaker, let's be clear. What we're talking about is the fact that the leader of the Scottish Conservatives believes that the people of Scotland should return Labour Party members of Parliament to this House yep. rather than Scottish National Party on, members to this yeah. House. So isn't the message for the people of Scotland quite clear? Don't give the Tories what they want. Yeah. Mr Speaker, actually, the, 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 the Scottish Conservatives deserve enormous praise for, for, forcing, for, forcing, actually, for forcing the SNP into abandoning their completely unworkable, fundamentally flawed deposit return scheme, Mr Speaker. So it's good that the uh, SNP U-turned and listened to the voices of the Scottish Conservatives and to business, and we look forward to working with them on delivering something that actually works to deliver for the people of Scotland. And that's just it, Mr Speaker, because if they can't fix the mess that Nicola Sturgeon left their party in, how can they possibly fix the mess that she left Scotland in? Yeah.